Hey, yo, it's Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode, you've got me and my 65T AMX 65T French Tier 8 Heavy Tank. One of the relatively new additions to the game within the last couple patches or so. We are here on Arctic region and I'm headed down to the Brawl Zone, having spawned into the northeast side. We're going to talk about something a little different today. We're going to talk about how easy it is to do pretty well in this game. And that is not being condescending. That is not uh, trying to cast aspersions on anyone's gameplay. And in all seriousness, it actually is pretty easy. There's a couple keys to it. I think the biggest one is going to be careful aggression. You'll see that as I come down here, I am looking immediately to get into the fight. I didn't go where the scorpion is. Now, although we do understand why a scorpion might go there. Understood. But I would also take a scorpion down here. Now, I'm going to keep on pushing. See that 40T? And I'm using the information around me. Okay, part of it is positioning. Part of it using the information. We have a good glob coming down here. We have to win down here. This is this is it. We don't win down here. We don't win this game. I like this spot because that's where the biggest brawl usually is. And it is easy to get back to your cap and defend. At least from this cap. Not as easy from the other cap. The 40T has proven that nobody is coming down the ramp. So I'm going to actually come around this corner and keep on trucking. The guys above have proven that they're not really pushed up too much. As a matter of fact, they're pushed up just enough that I am going to be able to sneak in under them. That 65T probably saw me, but I'm just going to keep on trucking. Now there are two Artie, but I'm just going to accept the fact that the Artie is there. If you're playing the game to hide from Artie, or doing your positioning to hide from Artie, you're doing it wrong. You've got to accept that as a threat. You've minimized it as best you can, but you've also got to get in position. And there's my first 379. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this game is not going to be an amazing game. I'm not going to show you a 6,000 damage game or a, even a 6 kill game. What I'm going to show you is with a little solid execution, you can get in there and get your averages up. It's going to be just over 2,000. But 2,000 is actually a pretty good game for a lot of people who may be averaging 1,000 or 1,500 in their tier 8s. And the point is, I don't do anything especially great in this game or especially good. I'm not using hacks. I don't have this position no one knows about. I'm not superior, superiorly angling. In fact, I'm eating artillery. I'm taking a few shots and trading, but I'm laying out the damage. And I'm helping the team down here push these guys back around the corner. Now, it just blows my mind right now. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video, look at all these guys back here. They're all poking at the front armor of these guys. Why would you continue to sit here when you've got this ramp and side shots? This is something that I cannot riddle myself Riddle myself? I mean, just riddle me this, guys. <laughs> Why? Little mistake right here. I look for the 65T to see if I can't get him dead, but he is not quite able to come around the corner. He'll drown if he does so. One of the reasons was I wanted to disappear from Marty. Hey, look, somebody figured it out. That too, somebody's figured it out. They want some damage too. So I probably left a shot or two on the table by not coming up. I may have also saved myself a few Artie hits. So we take down the Tiger, we're pushing around the corner, and we have a pretty good lead started. The northwest corner is not having a big issue right now. In fact, they're doing quite well, at least even. And this game is well in hand, so I'm just going to push up and over. 1900 damage, there's the 65T right there. My arty friend finds me. Pretty soon my other arty friend is going to find me as well. And I take that. There's something else people won't do. When I talk about you can have a good game. I knew I could kill him. I knew he was going to hit me. But I knew I could take the hit. Now if the game was closer I might want to be more careful. But in a situation like this. Now I'm just trying to get damage. We're cleaning these guys up right and left. Down goes that Artie. And we move in. I'm not certain I get another shot. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will zoom along here at chipmunk speed. I think I was hoping I could get to the Artie, but he ends up dying. Trucking, trucking, trucking. Let me see if we can get another shot. Can we? No. Oh, well, there's one more guy. What do we got here? No. 
And that's the end of it. So 2,137, 525 assisted. Gets me up there pretty far on the leaderboard. It's a good, solid, workmanlike game. But for a lot of people, that's actually a pretty good game. And the point is that if you're carefully aggressive, read the mini-map and just get your gun firing. Stop blapping people in the face when you have a better avenue of approach. A lot of those little things to where you can easily get your tanks to that kind of 2,000 average damage, that tier 8, which is really, for me, where you would want to be somewhere around 2,000. Anything more than 2,000 is getting better and better. But if you're laying out 2,000 in a tier 8 tank most of the time, then you're doing pretty good in this game. And it really is, without being condescending, pretty easy to get your conceptual knowledge and your gameplay up to that level. It really, it really and truly is, without even a whole lot of effort, to be quite honest. And it just becomes more of a mindset thing than it necessarily does of a pure mechanics thing with the game. Although the mechanics and the map knowledge and the SA all comes into play. If you go at it with the right mindset, the rest of those will follow. If you're carefully aggressive, you get your gun in the game, the rest of the stuff is going to come along with experience because you are going to sometimes overextend and get killed. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to go to positions that aren't good, um, get swarmed, all that thing. But you need to learn from those as opposed to draw back and go, well, every time I do that, I get I get wrecked. So I'm just going to sit back with those guys and poke people in the face and maybe one of my shots will go through. And I'm happy to get my 1,200 because, you know, that's all I can do. Shit can that idea. Go to the carefully aggressive, get up there, get your gun in the game, and start figuring out how you can do things like that. I wasn't able to, I didn't know that ramp and that kind of positioning when I started either, but I just kept working at it. And eventually I went, you know what? I'm tired of shooting people in the face and bouncing all day. Why don't I go shoot them in the side? That's more fun. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you like what you saw there. Hope you learned something along the way on the video where Guido claims this game is easy. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you guys later.